Beerus and Sherry would be about to clash, but each of their angels would step in between to avoid a possible fight. Stop you two, Wissensauer would say at the same time. Do you want to destroy the whole universe by fighting each other? Wiss would say seriously. Miss Jerez, remember to behave, Sauer would seriously warn. This is about me, I'll be the one to decide, Goku would say that while stepping in. Goku, you will come to Universe 7, where you came from, Beerus would say while pointing at him in a threatening way. Goku would slowly approach towards Beerus. He was watching him with a lot of hatred. Goku's ki would begin to increase, only his body would be surrounded by Hakai energy. This is all because of you, Goku would say after giving Beerus a strong fist punch in the stomach, which would leave him breathless. He's strong, Jerez would think in amazement. I like that one. Get out of here! Don't think I forgot that you were about to murder an entire planet on a mere whim! Goku would say, furious. Beerus, without staying behind, would throw a fist punch towards Goku, but Goku would hold his fist resisting the attack. Then he would start to clench Beerus's fist. The god of destruction was being tortured by Goku. Beerus! Goku would say in a strange, resonant voice, as his eyes glowed a violet hue. Goku would let go of Beerus, the god of destruction would pull away from him. How could he possibly have so much power? Beerus would ask in terror. Goku would fall to his knees and then hold his head because of the intense pain he felt. Get out of here, Beerus, Jerus would say. Mr. Beerus, we better get out of here, Wiss would say. Beerus and Wiss should leave so as not to make things even worse, while Goku looked in bad shape. What's wrong with you, Goku? Jerus would ask, but Goku would not answer. Goku would start to increase his ki. He would look furious and seemed to be out of control. Goku, can you hear me? Jerus would ask as she approached him. Miss Jerus, move away, Sour would warn. Goku would create a huge ki blast against his will. Sour would arrive just in time to protect Jerus with an energy shield. It's like the Hakai is controlling him, Jerus would say seriously. Then Goku would fall, fainting to the ground. Jerus and Sour were amazed by the power that Goku unleashed. I must have him under control, or else he might turn against me, Jerus would say. Jerus would point to Goku. She would create with her powers a bracelet around his neck. With this bracelet, I can have it under my feet. It will be mine alone, Jerus would say with a devilish smile. Hours later, Goku would finally wake up. What happened? Goku would ask as he looked around. Goku would touch his neck. He would realize he was wearing the bracelet. What is this? Goku would ask. It's a bracelet, Jerus would answer. I already know that. I mean, what am I doing with this on? Goku would say, furious. It's a security measure to control you. You almost lost your mind a moment ago. The Hakai energy seemed to dominate your body, Jerus would explain. That doesn't make sense, Goku would say as he tried to remove the bracelet. But as he did so, Jerus would snap her fingers, and Goku would be paralyzed by an intense pain running through his entire body. What did you just do? Goku would ask in pain. Believe me, it's for your own good. You don't remember, but you lost your mind, and your key was sending Hakai energy, Jerus warned. That doesn't make sense, I don't believe you. Goku would say, furious again, and Hakai's energy would start to surround his body again. You see? Jerus would ask, pointing at him. Goku would realize that what Jerus was telling him was true. He could see Hakai's energy coursing through his body. It can't be true, but how? Goku would ask, terrified. With that bracelet, it can keep you calm. I know it hurts a little, but if you lose your mind again, you could end up with me. Jerus would say, sighing. It's not my intention to harm anyone. That's why I desperately sought to be able to master this, even if I have to give up the use of the Hakai, Goku would say more calmly. Don't worry, I'll help you, Jerus would say. That's not true. You will be my slave for all eternity, Jerus would think, since that was her real plan. Sour would observe his staff with attention. When he would make a gesture of annoyance, he would hit it against the floor. 
Meanwhile, Whis was watching everything that was happening inside the Palace of Jerris, using his staff. But at the moment that Sour had his staff on the floor, Whis had stopped seeing what was happening. What a thing! My brother noticed that I was spying on him! Whis would say, somewhat dissatisfied. Never mind, we already know enough! Now we must find a way to get Goku out of there! Beerus would say, angrily. Remember that Beerus has him manipulated with his bracelet. He can even control his emotions with it, warned Whis. Wouldn't it be wiser to leave Goku in Jairus' hands? Even if it doesn't help him, the good thing is that at least he won't get out of control. Remember that Mr. Goku unleashes great power thanks to the Hakai in his body. I absolutely refuse, Beerus would say. Goku belongs to Universe 7. If Xenosama wants to see him, how will I explain to him that he's in Universe 2? Oh, now you care what Xenosama thinks. But when you were about to kill him, you didn't. What a thing with you, Mr. Beerus. You don't change anymore, the offended angel would say. Some days would pass while Goku would be under the dominion of Jerris. During the days that would pass, the control over Goku had increased. By that time, Goku almost did not speak. He looked like a zombie without expression. Jerris had placed a gold chain on the bracelet, so he would take him everywhere with her, as if he was her pet. Who is the most beautiful goddess of all? Jerris would ask Goku. It's you, goddess Jerris, Goku would say, hypnotized. But what a nice slave I have, Jerris smiled. You'll be that I blushed. Don't you think this is getting out of control? Sour would ask. Not at all. Goku is under my control, Jerris would answer. Tell me, Goku, who is your owner? Jerris would ask. It's you, Big Jerris. Goku would say again with that empty expression. What happens if Xenosama asks for Mr. Goku? Sour would ask again. I will tell him that I'm working on finding a way to remove Akai's energy from his body, the Goddess of Destruction would reply. Sour would look seriously at Jerris. He didn't like the situation, and he also feared that Xenosama might get upset. On the other hand, Wiz would have an idea to get Goku back. Mr. Beerus, what do you think about recruiting Vegeta? Whis would ask. What for? Beerus would ask seriously while resting on a bed. Goku and Vegeta always compete for who is stronger. If we teach Vegeta how to use the Hakai, I'm sure he will have a good fight against Lord Goku, Whis would say. You forget that Goku is being controlled by Jerris? Beerus would reply. How long can that control last if Goku has to face someone very strong? Whis would ask. Remember that you can't fight Jerris, but a mortal could. I have a better idea, Beerus would say. We'll give the news to Vegeta, and he'll go find Goku on his own. That way we won't have anything to do if anything goes wrong. Gee, it's a good thing you came up with that all on your own, Wiss would say somewhat grumpily. Hours later, Wiss and Beerus would arrive on Earth. They would go on a visit to Vegeta's house, meeting him and Bulman. Hey you two, we haven't heard from Goku, Bulma would say annoyed. That's why we came. Whis would say. Whis and Beerus would fill them both in on what happened to Goku. That witch is manipulating Goku? As soon as I see her, she'll pay for it, Bulma would say furiously. I doubt it. Remember, she's a god of destruction, Whis would laugh. Then there's not much you can do, Vegeta would say seriously. Hey Vegeta, aren't you going to help Goku? He's your friend, Bulma would say annoyed. I never said he was my friend. Besides, he seems to be in good hands, Vegeta would reply. Come on, Vegeta. That Jairus has Goku like a puppet. She makes him do whatever she wants, Bulma would say. It's not much different from what Chi-Chi used to do with him, Vegeta smiled, making fun of the situation. I understand what's going on. Vegeta is afraid to face Goku and a goddess of destruction, <laughs> Beerus laughed, but only telling him that to provoke him. Did you just call me a coward? Vegeta would ask in annoyance. If that wasn't the reason, why else wouldn't you go save Goku? Beerus would scoff. Vegeta would increase his ki due to anger. He was offended by Beerus' comment. Mr. Beerus, Vegeta couldn't do anything. Remember that Goku increased his power thanks to the Kai. And besides, Jairus is a goddess of destruction. <laughs> Whis laughed. What did you say? Vegeta would ask, furious. It seems that these two are manipulating Vegeta to go on his own, Balma would think as she realized their plan. And the fool hasn't even noticed. 
Vegeta, don't feel bad. We know that Goku has always surpassed you, and now that he increased his power, the Hakai, you are far from his level, Bulma would say. Wiss and Beerus looked surprised by Bulma's words. Vegeta looked even more furious. If I could against Toppo, Sakai, I'm the only one who can deal with this situation. Wiss, you're going to train me and teach me how to use the Hakai, Vegeta would say. I don't know if I can do it. After all, I can't teach just anyone to use the Hakai, Wiss would reply. Wiss, teach him, Beerus would say. And after that, Vegeta would be taken to the planet of Beerus, where Wiss would train him to master the Hakai and thus be able to face Jerus and also Goku if necessary. Whis would train Vegeta in a special time room for gods, where one day outside was 100 years inside, and one day inside that room would be enough. Vegeta would come out after training for 100 years. Beerus would watch Vegeta closely. He could feel how his presence had changed. Wow, Vegeta, you've outdone yourself, Beerus would say. Now show me if you've mastered the Hokai. Vegeta would stretch his finger towards Beerus's castle. With a small flash of Hokai, he would make it disappear completely. Beerus was amazed, but also furious. You idiot! You just destroyed my castle! You can prove it another way! Beerus was shouting very angrily. Wow, I think he went a little overboard, Whis would laugh. A little? Beerus would ask, furious. Where will I sleep now? Where will I eat? Where will I live? Beerus would look at Vegeta with hatred. He was about to attack him, but when he tried to do so, Vegeta would look at him with seriousness. Beerus would back away, terrified. What is this feeling of alertness? Beerus would ask. It's as if my instincts were telling me that I would die if I attacked Vegeta. Beerus would think worriedly. I see I can feel it, Whis would say. Vegeta's a completely different man now. Whis, please take me to Goku, Vegeta would say very calmly. Just try not to kill Goku, Beerus would ask. I'll try, Vegeta smiled. Whis would travel with Vegeta straight to the planet of the Goddess of Destruction of Universe 2. Upon arriving at her palace, Jerus looked annoyed by Vegeta's presence. What is that dirty mortal doing here? Jerus would ask, annoyed. I came to fight Kakarot. Don't interfere if you don't want to die. Vegeta would say that calmly as he would see Goku who was being controlled and was standing next to the goddess of Universe 2.